错的，没错。Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Get yourself a friend like Doye. I know that people have different opinions about her act yesterday and what she did for Ilebaye and the fact that she had a confrontation with Venita, Kedwire and some other people, including EK and all of that. But I think that at some point in your life, you need somebody like Doye who can fight for you as a friend right because yesterday we saw the fact that big brother exposed ek exposed the gang up against tilebaye i mean i was ashamed for all of the boys trust me i know this is a game but i was i was really ashamed for them i mean you guys were ganging up against the 22 year old girls men in their 30s ganging up against the 22 year old girl especially per whom is a godfather right as a leader i mean he advises her he goes to her tells her you know after she got a two strike you know be cordial with everybody and here you are because of a game you are trying to you're ganging up i mean like big brother said big brother was like are you proud of yourselves and that this is a game and that there's life outside of your brother so on this video i'm going to be talking about the rounds of fights that happened while big brother was given his verdict and of course after all of that but on this note i welcome you back to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i need you to click on the subscribe button right now turn on your notification bells click the option and click on all right if you've subscribed before and you, of course you do not receive my notifications like some people would say please click on the bell button you can find right there after you subscribe and then click on all and then you get notifications of my videos anytime i post on this channel now straight into my gist we saw the fact that yesterday big brother went on a quick break and when we came back, we saw the fact that Doi and, of course, Benita were in a heated war of words. So this is it. In the morning, when you know, when they woke up yesterday, when um, Doi found out about the fact that um, Lebai's clothes had been scattered everywhere, she tried going around to ask, who knows about this thing? Who was there? Did anybody know who, who did this, right? And then because she, she's asked and combed everywhere, okay? She's now shocked at the fact that first of all, it was EK who did this. I mean, I love what people, the shock on their faces. You need to see the shock on um, Polony Barge's faces and, of course, um, what's her name? Cece's face. Because guess what? Yesterday, when Big Brother was about to play the video, you could hear the house, which you can't get saying, ah, if you had all talk now, if you had all did it, better talk now before. I mean, even Perry was like, oh, let's see, let's see, Big Brother. Apparently, they were the one, alas, they were the ones, they were the perpetrators of the evil acts, right? Um, I don't, I didn't know if you if can say anything for the video play. But here we see the fact that, you know, Donny is mad at Venita. You are a woman, you sat there, you saw what was happening, and you were laughing, you know, because, I mean, I feel like there's something going on between Shay and, of course, Venita, because yesterday, when, um, who was having a fight, like, two days ago, when, Ilebaye and Shay were having a fight. You could hear Venita saying, that, you know, Ilebaye, you can't be talking to Shay where I am. You cannot be insulting Shay where I am. So apparently there's like a connection, there's a synergy, there's a there's a relationship, it's not necessarily romantic, that is in between Shay and Venita. Hence the reason why they were laughing right there while Ike was carrying out and was perpetrating his evil act. She said that she watched. She's a woman for Christ's sake. So while Big Brother was trying to talk to them, he told them to calm down, right? You know, because some of them, you know, I'm doing facing up with her. And then after that, Big Brother, you know, dished out his punishment to Suma. And then after the whole stuff, right? You know, Big was shocked. You were like, why well, would these people be ganging up against, you know, Ilibai? And while she was saying that Kid Wire walked to where they were, and she called Kid Wire's bluff off, like, get the hell out of my face, you know, call him using the B word and all of that. And guess what? Because Kid Wire was, I mean, Kid Wire was shot for the first time that Doni could call his bluff, could blast him. Like, why would you be doing that? Because here was EK also, you know, Doni was telling Kid Wire, this same guy that you guys are conniving together has come to say bad things about you. It was in our group and it's come to say a lot of terrible things about Kid Wire, right? Because I mean, I saw Kid Wire say that, you know what, moving forward, he's going to be playing this game alone. It was telling Cross as one other person, one other lady in the house. So he was, you know, doing calling his bluff and telling him to get out of her face and all of that. And then she was using the B word on the K and all of that while she was going up. And then 
um, Venita thought that um, she was the one that Doyo was talking to at some particular point. And then he was like, yes, even if it's, even if you think you are the one, then you are, you are the bitch yourself. You are using the B word and all that, that you are the one. And then that was how the fight started. You are, if you are, and I wasn't even referring to you, but you are a bitch. You are, you are a bitch. Now, one place that you know, Doyo got to that got a lot of people talking on social media was the fact that she brought Venita's children into the place. Now, apparently Doyo, Doyo was pained about the fact that you would sit down and laugh at some guys mal mal maltreating a lady, and then you have two daughters. And when they grow up, they'll probably, they find, probably find themselves in that space. So that is one thing that a lot of people are saying she shouldn't have done. She shouldn't have crossed the line to bring the kids of Venita into the, into the whole conversation. Apparently, because Venita was trying to know, because what Venita heard, as at the time they carried her away from doing, was that and you have two daughters and you have two daughters. So that was what Venita heard. So Venita has been asking Messi and asking people, what did Doni say about my daughters? Because the thing that she heard last was Doni talking about the fact that, oh, she has daughters and blah. Blah, blah blah but people did decide not to tell her Messi said you know what else was she said because I mean if they had gone ahead to tell Venita what Tony said like her daughters were fine and some of that stuff it would have been another situation entirely because Venita is like see she's not called to babysit by in the house it's a game and all of that and the fact that she st decided to stand up say she didn't want to be part of it was most likely enough for her but that Doni cannot come and be Telling her what to do in a game. That this same doing that is, you know, shouting and, you know, fighting for Ilebae has never chosen Ilebae to be on her own team. They are friends. She claims to be loyal to Ilebae, but not on any, at any point or on any occasion has Doni decided to put Ilebae on her own team. Now we see the fact that the ladies are beginning to come to an understanding that these boys really mean business because we see. Um, I was a name. We see Angel, we see Doing, we see Levi, we see Mercy, right? I mean, these girls are determined that no guy will win the show this season. I think that the guys are doing so much. If there's any guy who I think might be deserving, or maybe is deserving of getting to the finale, most likely we'll probably be winning. It will be a different league, right? But as it stands right now, it's looking like the girls are vowed that no guy will smell that money. That money is not going to be for any guy. Because Angel was here telling the, girl, the girls that have you guys forgotten that the guys have said that no girl will, that they want to check out all girls? And then the girls are shocked, like, why would the guys even be thinking about checking them out of the show? Well, alas, it's a game, right? The only part that I feel is weird is the fact that these guys will come and decide to, you know, to gang up and try to check and focus on one person. And regardless, they don't care about her emotional state and all of that. But they just want to check her out. When there are people they should really check out, people who have big, larger fan bases in the house, that they should be thinking of provoking to get. I mean, how is it laid by a strong contender for Perry? Or oh, has led by a strong contender for I don't know who's there, you know, like a strong person for maybe he can or whatever it is. But I mean they just make, they just give this girl more publicity. And if this game goes the way it's going and it's more intensified and they try to frustrate her, this girl is gonna get into the finals. I'm not I don't know about winning, right? Because I mean there's strong contenders in the house. There's Mercy, there's CC, there's Angel, there's White Money, right? There's that definitely there are people in the house who've got this Alex, right? The people in the house who've got very huge fan bases and all of that. But I think that the Levi will most likely get into the finale. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Doni was right to have, you know, fought for um what's what's the name? Levi, looking at the fact that she had sat with Ike in the morning or in the afternoon, asking, wondering who would have done this, and then boom, it was Ike who had done it, right? And the fact that your know, Perry was even part of people who skimmed it, and then Perry was now there saying who did this. Apparently, most likely who did it because they were all planned it together. So, what do you think about doing? Um, saying, I'm talking about, you know, Benito's kids. Was he right that she brought the kids into the conversation? Um, also, what do you think about EK? What do you think that guy should, should do in his, with his life, right? Because he's, he's told in the house, he's commanding the house. He's been the guy who's carried stuff out of the house. I mean, they were so vexed that she said he's going to go back to jail because, I mean, he's been there before, according to, you know, what we've heard, right? And that's it on this video. Please go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and guys, so you're notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And of course, on TikTok and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time, I'll come over again very soon. It's bye for now.